how to create PDF files, the easiest way to create PDFs quickly. Hi, my name is George and welcome back to the PDF Element YouTube channel. Many of us are used to working in teams daily and we're aware of the compatibility issues that can come from sharing files with your coworkers, right? PDF files undoubtedly solve this problem by being compatible across all devices and therefore they are most uniquely positioned to solve this problem. But many of us don't know how to create PDF files, but you'd like to learn how, right? Well, stick with me on today's video and I will show you how to create PDF files quickly and easily. Welcome back to the PDF Element YouTube channel. If you've never created a PDF file from scratch before, you're probably wondering, how hard is it? Do I need to rebuild my files from scratch? Is converting files to PDF files worth it? Well, don't worry because creating PDF files has never been so easy. Today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create PDF files using the files that you already have on your device using these simple tips creating a PDF from a Microsoft Office file, creating a PDF from clipboard, creating a PDF from images, and creating PDF from a print function. Before we go any further, please make sure you have the most up-to-date version of PDF Element installed on your device. If you don't have it already, you can go to the link in the description to get your free download. Number one, creating a PDF from a Microsoft Office file. We all know that depending on the type of file that we work with, it depends on which software we should be using. For example, if we're working with lots of numerical data, we might use Excel. And then if we're working with lots of text, then we might use Microsoft Word. A cost engineer knows that working with these two specific softwares is an absolute must, but they also know they need to be able to convert these into PDFs to be able to share them with their teammates, their managers, or their clients, so that they may view these reports with no compatibility issues. Converting these files to PDFs does add one more step to your tasks, but this will ensure that no compatibility issues get in the way of sharing your information. Also, when we use PDF Element, this process just takes a few seconds, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Open PDF Element and click the Create PDF button. You will now see a menu with options available for creating PDF documents. Simply click blank PDF. Go to the convert section and click on create PDF and select the form file option. Now all you have to do is use the Windows File Explorer to select the Microsoft Office file you want to convert to PDF. You will see a pop-up window showing converting process progress. When this is finished, save the document using the save as option that is located up here in the file menu. Now use the Windows File Explorer to choose the destination path where you want to save your PDF. And that was it. You've created a PDF using this Microsoft Word file. Keep in mind that you can modify this PDF using the editing tools in the edit section. That was very straightforward, wasn't it? PDF files are very reliable no matter what device you're creating or editing them on. It doesn't matter where you visualize them, they will always display your information correctly as they were exported. Now you can forget about the compatibility issues that come with Microsoft Office files and other niche document types. If you found that step useful, just wait for this next one. Number two, creating PDF using clipboard. Sometimes time can be crucial when closing a sale, as is the case with most sales managers. So occasionally it's necessary to know how to improvise types of files within a few seconds, ensuring that these files contain specific information that customers need in order to convince them to purchase a product. In these situations where you need to create PDF documents quickly, in order to share information with your clients so they can quickly analyze the information from any device, you can do this easily using PDF Elements Clipboard PDF Creation Tool. In this way, you'll only need to be able to select the text and images that you need to be able to create a PDF in seconds. Seconds. Fascinating, isn't it? Let me show you how to do this very simply. The first thing you'll need to do is copy an article, paragraph, or document to your clipboard. To do this, simply select the text or images you wish to convert to a PDF. Right click and select the copy option. Open PDF element and create a new blank PDF by clicking create PDF and choosing the blank PDF option. Go to the convert section, then drop down to the create PDF option menu and select the from clipboard option. As soon as this process is finished, you will see a PDF PDF with all the content that you previously copied to your clipboard. In general, PDFs generated from the clipboard do not keep the original format of the text, but by using the tools of the edit section, you will be able to adjust the format to your preference in just a few seconds. Now all you have to do is save the document. Go to the file menu and select save as option. Then use the Windows File Explorer to choose the destination path where you want to save your PDF. And that was it. You've created a PDF with all the information that your client and coworkers may need. No doubt you'll find thousands of ways to take advantage of this great process, but we're not done yet. We still have two more tips to go. So let's get into the third one. Number three, creating PDFs from images. Although these days we all prefer to work from our computers or even our phones, some people still enjoy working from a pen and paper. This can be really useful for certain things like signing documents. And accountants are of course entirely aware of this. So often it's necessary to find a way to convert a sheet of paper into a PDF document. You 
using images to create PDF documents is a lot better than using just image files, as not every device is going to be compatible with each image format. Using PDF Element, you can use the OCR Optical Character Recognition tool to ensure that all of your text is searchable and editable. And you can do all of this with just a couple of clicks. So let me show you how. Open PDF Element and create a new blank PDF by clicking Create PDF and then choosing the Blank PDF option. Now go to the Convert section and choose the From Scanner option from the Create PDF Options menu. Here you'll see a pop-up window where you have to choose the scanner that you will use to create the image of the document that you want to convert into PDF. Then check the Recognize Text OCR option and click Scan. When the process is complete, a window will appear allowing you to add more pages to your PDF using the same process. In this case, my document only has one page, so I'll choose the Scan is Complete option. When the image to PDF conversion process has finished, the OCR process will begin. All you have to do is choose the option Scan to Editable Text, select the option All Pages, and choose the document's language. When finished, click Apply and wait for the process to finish. You now have a fully editable PDF document. To finish, all you have to do is save it using the Save As option from the File menu. Then, use the Windows File Explorer to choose a destination path where you want to save your PDF. What do you think of this feature? Personally, I love it. Converting images to PDF saves me a lot of time, as I don't even need the image's source file to create these PDFs. Now I want to show you one last piece of advice, but trust me, you'll be glad you waited. Number four, creating PDFs using the print function. When browsing the internet, do you ever find a specific article or blog that you wish you could save and use for work? This has always been a common situation for us. And when we need to share that information with our coworkers, it's important that we can download this in a reliable file. In the past, we may have needed to create this document from scratch, but we found a much more efficient way to do this. So a task that could have taken you a few hours now takes you seconds. Amazing, right? Let me show you how to do this. Press the Control and P keys at the same time while using any software that allows you to print, such as a web browser, an image editor, or a Microsoft Office application. Now, you have to pull down the printer menu to select Wondershare PDF element and select the pages you want to convert to PDF. In this case, I want to convert the entire article to PDF, so I'll choose the All option. When finished, click on Print. After a few seconds, PDF element will open automatically, showing you your PDF. Now, all you have to do is save your PDF by pulling down the File menu and selecting the Save As option. Then, use the Windows File Explorer to choose a destination path where you want to save your PDF. I hope these tips have been useful for you. I love this tool because it saves me a lot of time when creating PDFs on the go, and the documents always come out looking great. How about I show you my favorite method to create PDFs in just three steps? First, I open PDF Element and click the Create File button and use the From File option. Then, I use Windows File Explorer to select the document I want to convert to PDF. Finally, I just saved my document. This was all about how to create PDF files. Now you know why I mentioned that creating PDF files is easier than it's ever been before. Now that you're also an expert in creating PDFs, you'll be able to combine all these methods and be able to get the most out of your tools on a day-to-day -day basis. Before I say goodbye, I'd like to thank you so much for staying to the end of this video. If this video was helpful for you, I'd really appreciate if you dropped a like on this video and subscribe to the PDF Element YouTube channel. We'll be bringing you lots more videos with helpful tips and tricks. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below this video and we will do our best answer these in future videos for you. Take a look through the videos on our channel and search for the keywords that are important to you. See you later.